Good morning. We're back up at the cabin. Uh, first time ever the kids went to overnight camp this week. So Jen and I are up here just relaxing for a couple of days and my buddy's gonna come up and we're gonna ride around on our motorcycles for a bit. It's been a crazy spring for us. Uh, business is good over here at Highland Outbuildings and we're moving lots of cabins, but this is gonna take a couple of days of downtime. But you can hear in the background we got woke up to a chorus of birds. Check this out. So early July now. We were up here just a couple weeks ago and got everything sort of cut down a little bit. We still got a bunch of work to do. Three weeks from now, we'll be having a big family reunion up here, which should be fun. Loving how the little bunkie turned out when we got the paint job on there. And we got up here last night in the dark, opened up all the windows and had a good sleep in there. My honey's just in there relaxing. We're about to go get a coffee and go for a drive, so. All the canopy is as full as she's going to get. The puppies are loving it. We brought the boat back up. And here we are now, early summer. Feels weird being here without the kids. It doesn't happen very often. This is the first time Jen and I have ever been up here without the boys. But they're at Moto Camp this week, which is an awesome opportunity for them. And they're going to become expert dirt bikers. And we're going to have a really relaxing day with the exception of finishing off a really important project in that cabin. We're going to get the shower stall installed today. So welcome back. Okay, so we made a big mess. Don't put me on. My honey doesn't want to be on camera. But we built a shower. So this is looking awesome. We just got the shower head on there. Jen's just going to put the cartridge in. And we're uh, pretty much done this. This was a fairly, I would say an easy project, but nothing's easy when you're working with me. I'm impossible to work with. So, <laughs> so she's just uh, finishing that off. We did have to put some concrete board on the wall because the pine was already on here and we had to, you know, get it staggered out so that the panel would stick out. And then we'll just do some finishing along the top. We're not going to hook up the plumbing system from the ICB tote just yet. We will, in the meantime, just use sort of the bucket and the um, submersible pump, which is this little guy right here. Can we do this later? So this will be how we'll shower for the meantime. And I'll leave my sweetheart alone because she's annoyed with me. <laughs> yeah. I, I need pliers, please. Okay, I'll get you some pliers. Thank you. So it's now mid-afternoon. My buddy Brad's coming up. We're going to go do some riding around here so we're right in the middle of the hastings uh county area oh there's rue she got tied up because she ran away today hey you can't run away up here that's not allowed so we're gonna do some riding around the uh the roots around here there's some amazing riding up here but i'm gonna start cutting some grass pretty soon and i better get jen old brucey dug yourself a hole hey brucey you rolled into something. You are covered in filth, so we'll have to go for a swim. But the girls are just having a nap, and I better get some pliers. So, productive day, and a beautiful one. It's probably 26 degrees right now. Birds are still singing. Okay, well, here it is. This was like a cheap corner shower we bought at, like, Rona or wherever. So the eventual goal here is to have this running through an on-demand propane hot water system, running from water that we put into this cistern over here. So that's just an ICB tote. So the goal is I bought a, um, like a backpack cistern that goes into a truck that fits between the wheel wells that holds like 1500 liters. So I'm gonna be able to fill this up with potable water that we can get in town. The plumbing from this is gonna run, we're gonna run some, some piping through here. 
all the plumbing's already done in the back of the building and ready for that. So we got our hot and colds in. The drain out of the shower goes into our French drain over here for gray water. There is no sewage here because we have the incinerating toilet. We have no poop going into our system. So this thing right here is the Freedom Cinderella. It's ready to go. So these are really cool. You just put this big filter in there. Oops. You do your business. You hit this button right here and it disappears and it incinerates your poop. So we don't have a poop issue here. We don't need a septic. So we're running everything off of propane, including the heater in here and battery power. Like right now we're charging up an EcoFlow with a solar panel, same thing in the other room. And this whole thing is like off grid ready to go. So it's nice to have that shower completed. It's a project that we started and never finished. Celebratory cold one, thank you, baby. <laughs> She's not fit for camera work right now. She'll get dressed and then we'll get her on film. She did a lot of this work. She's very patient. I'm not so much. So, yeah. So now um, next steps are let's get water in this thing. I have a cover for it so it won't turn to algae. We'll probably just treat it with a little bit of bleach and make sure it doesn't fill up with algae. That will service the kitchen sink in here. We're going to have hot water run into that too as well as hot water for the shower here. And we have a second one of these as well. So I'm thinking about maybe relocating this potentially and putting them up higher so we can have natural gravity fed um, water pressure. So anyways, that's a big win for us guys. And we are now gonna have a cold one and chill out for a bit and relax. So the dogs are chilling. Should we let you off the leash now? Hey, have you been tortured enough? Come here. Don't run away. Okay. This dog is sweet, but she's still a bit dumb. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful day. Okay, folks. So we're at the, here at the Bray. This is the last day we're going to be up here for this trip. My honey is done. <laughs> <laughs> so she's uh, done a great job just tidying things up we got the caulking in this is now a functional bathroom uh temporarily anyways so again this is like an alcove shower not alcove corner shower that we we got like inexpensively from like Lowe's. Lowe's okay it's a neo angle neo angle so fairly inexpensive you know we bought mowing uh fixtures etc so what we're going to do for now, because the drain is hooked up to this, is we use this submersible pump we got on Amazon for like 50 bucks, right? Yeah. And it's just kind of hanging up here. So what we do is we fill this stock pot full of water, heat it up on the Coleman to the temperature that we like it. And that's enough for like a three to five minute shower if you're careful with it. You just hit the little button and the pump turns on. It'll all drain into the drain in the shower pan. And now we have an indoor shower that functions like an outdoor shower <laughs> Yay, no bugs outside anymore. <laughs> so we still got like this is all plumbed in and ready to go too we just got to get the um i really need to get matt back up here to help me finish out the plumbing plumbing is not my forte there's lots of things that aren't <laughs> we just got to get the water hooked up yeah so what the, it comes to the taps yeah we need to we need a pump right and we need to I, i'm gonna rethink the solar system that we have here so so that's good. That's a huge project that's been a long time coming. And uh, Jen's just going to go home. I'm going to stay up here and do a little bit of work. I got to go over to a customer's place and help her level her shed. But we will be back up here, I think, hon, in a couple of weeks. To come and just relax again and get a bunch of work done before we have the family reunion for August long weekend. So. It's been a good one. We got some riding in. My buddy came up and we did some riding around the area. There are epic motorcycling roads up here. They're home safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was drama free and really good conditions for riding. Very little traffic where we are too. So. so there we go. There's our trip to the Bray this time. Thank you for watching as always. This cabin has been wonderful for us. We're sleeping like babies up here. Yeah. And the boys have two more days of camp. Yep. Yeah. 
camp. Yep, so they're at Moto Camp um, doing their thing, and they'll be home. So Jen's going to go home now, and I'm going to stick around up here for just a little while longer, and then we'll be back up in a couple of weeks. See you, folks.